Hey guys, Vince Daly here. Got a little taste surprise for you today. I am at the gym, as you see, Renzi's, getting ready to work out, man, and to be truth be told, I haven't been training for about four months. So what I'm trying to do now is reactivate some muscles, get my plan back together, start off with a proper footing under me, right? Like most of you guys, if you've been in and out of the gym, you wanna start up again, be smart about it. My purpose of doing this video is to show you how I do it. I've done this for years. I'm getting ready to start off doing an arm workout program. Arms been flat for, I don't know, my gosh, they've been just flat for months. So it's really pertinent that I've been in here and get some work done, okay? So what I'm gonna be doing today is what I call rack running. I'm standing in front of my barbell rack. I'm gonna be training the biceps utilizing my first exercise, which I call a stimulation workout, okay? So when you're working out, I think you should break your training down to at least one exercise to start everything off. That is a power movement, okay? That's a stimulator. It's like walking into a, a room, a dark room, and you hit the light switch and you turn the lights on, get that electricity flowing. Well, that's what I want you to use that concept when you start sending electrical stimulus to those muscles and that getting that contraction, okay? How are we doing that? Stimulation creating in the gym, utilizing resistance force. We're gonna be utilizing a barbell curl for this portion of my startup exercises to train my biceps today. So I'm gonna let you walk, watch me a little bit, I'll show you what I'm doing. Here's the concept behind it. I'm utilizing the terminology of rack running. Rack running to me, I do for all different exercises. I'm doing my dumbbell workout primarily with my barbells. I get a chance to use weight preloaded so I can go ahead and utilize the concept of taking eight to 10 reps with each denomination of weight. I'm using, uh, let's see, 20 to 60. I'm gonna be doing eight to 10 reps with each one of these particular barbells. I'm gonna be doing, not a fast pace, but I'll finish the first set. I'm gonna move right to the second set. So it's gradually increasing the stimulation, gradually increasing the weight, okay? so that I can control the contraction and the functionality of the muscle. This is what this is all about, mind into muscle training. Very simple, you do it all the time. I'm just doing it in a more methodical way. Watch this, see what I'm trying to show you. I'm gonna utilize the 20 pounds. I'm gonna get me eight to 10 reps with the 20 pounds, okay? Nice, full, easy contraction. Fully contracting the bicep. Let's make sure the mechanics are perfect. Okay, once again, I haven't been training for a while. So if you like myself, take your time in here, all right? Let's move to the next denomination. Prep, proper hand grip, and execution. Breathing through the exercise. Full extension. Contraction, keep that muscle contracted. Pull the weight into the muscle. Feel the contraction all the way through. This is smooth repetitions. Okay, now I'm gonna go down and grab these 60, 20, 30, 40. Same thing, I might get six to eight reps this time, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All righty, again, biceps are starting to activate now. You feel the pressure building up inside. This is not the time to go for heavier weight. Right now I'm getting down to my, let's see, my 60s now, or 50s. I'm gonna control this nice and smooth. I want five or six reps. I just wanna maximize the contraction. Train for quality. That didn't feel too bad. I did eight to 10, but now going down to that 60, I'm gonna give me a good solid six to eight reps because I feel the tension building up, getting that power, about ready to explode. Control that contraction. Okay, 
that felt great. I'm getting stimulated now. I feel how the resistance of each one of the weight changes affects the quality of that intense contraction. I bottomed out with the heavier now. Now it's the reversal. We're gonna flip it and work it back up top. I'm gonna watch the smoothness of each rep, the fullness of that muscle and bicep, saturating that muscle with blood. That's quality training. 60 pounds, let's go to six to eight. Okay, that was only six. Felt great from Grady's 50s. Let's get eight. Yeah, baby. All right. Same thing. It's fresh feeling. Really saturation in the pump. Feeling stronger. Moving back up, try to get eight reps this time. We're rack running, remember the terminology. Run the rack. Totally different feeling when you get to the lighter end of this workout because the muscle is responding to the resistance. It's a level that you can control. The quality of this contraction is what we're looking for. Now I'm at the top of the rack again. 10 reps, first set going out, first set closing it out. Nice and smooth. Right, finito. We just did a rack running process. I want you guys to try this at home using any denomination of weight. The purpose here is to control the contraction, control the resistance, making sure you're getting everything you need out of this type of training. And what you're looking for here is full muscle contraction, small, nice rhythm in your training, quality control workout. This is that startup I told you about. Pay a mind and attention to how that muscle is executing, how your arms is feeling throughout the movement. Like I told you, I haven't been training for a few months. And this little bit of weight right here, get me back on track. This is uh, inside a tip, Vince Taylor. Rack running, baby. Knock it out, get that arm set up. This will be the first exercise I'm doing for my biceps. My second exercise is going to be hammer curls. And I'll be using the dumbbell rack in the same process. I'll start with the lighter end of the dumbbell rack. I'm gonna be doing hammer curls, alternate hammer curls, okay? Running that weight up to about 40, 50 pounds and back down the rack again, to exactly like I did over here. But that's for another video. Thank you for joining me guys. Vince Taylor, Rack Running.